Newton's third law says when one object pushes on a second object, the second object pushes back on the first with an equal but opposite force. Okay, Professor, what happened? Well, it's Newton's third law. I pushed on you, you, and that's why you moved. And then somehow, you moved because whether I wanted to or not, I pushed back on you. That's right. That's Newton's third law. Hmm. If I push on you, then you have to push back on me. Another good example of Newton's third law is just the way we walk every day. If I want to walk forwards, I push back on the floor with my foot. And then the floor pushes forward on me, and that's why I move forwards. But the floor doesn't move. That's right, because the floor is anchored down to the ground and it can't move. But if we had a floor that could move, then as I walk forwards, you'd see it moving backwards. Here's a floor which can move, and now we'll see that as I walk forwards, the floor moves backwards underneath me. Okay. Professor Taylor stepped onto a plank supported by two frictionless carts, a movable floor. And as he walked, you could see the floor move from the force he exerted on it. The view from the catwalk above made it very clear. And I had an even clearer demonstration of a moving floor the next day when I met the professor on his raft at the pool. And he forgot the third law. Oh.